Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wookie here with another good old Dokkan battle. And I'm here to announce I finally pulled LR Gohan. Just not the one, the, just not the Dokkan Festival one. It's the brand new walking Gohan. Look at him. I, I was pulling for the Android. I didn't record a video of it because I was like, only had enough for like three multis and then I ended up buying um, the $8 pack to get, to get four multis. But in three multis, I got this LR Gohan. And let me tell you, I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, I technically wanted him since release. And then at some point I gave up ever the idea of actually pulling him. And then here we are. I actually pulled him. And it's kind of amazing. Uh, the shitty thing is, is that due to another thing, which is... By the way, the focus of today's video. Surprise, it's a grind and talk. Uh, so... Um... I can't start grinding for his medals until I get these damn easy A's done. I already got Vegeta's out of the way, and the reason why I'm coming back for this is because I realized the first time I did it, I don't know, I was pretty um, negative about it because I really don't like it. Like, that, that still has not changed, by the way. My overall feeling is that I still think that this uh, new form kind of sucks, but it's, it's a suck. It's a suck. What's the good way of... Let me, as I make my stupid-ass team, because I have to make this team for everyone and I completely forgot. Let me make it again. Um, go in here. I ended up... There we go. There he is. This Vegeta's done. He's not at level 140 yet, because I'm saving that for later. Um, you're on the team, I think. You're on the team, you're on the team, and you have to be on the team. I have no choice in the matter for that one. So there we go. Here's the perfect team. Um... Moreover, wow, I've never seen this before. Bye guys. I'm you're not I'm not gonna be the one featured on the banner. That's actually what bye guys means is that bye guys, I'm not getting an LR. Which to be fair, um in retrospect, it's actually kinda hard to imagine how the LR for goodbye bye guys Goku would be an LR. Like it's already kinda weird that he's a um an SSR or an SR I think in Japan an SSR in um in uh NA, I can't believe I forgot NA. <laughs> it's alright. Um, but yeah, my overall feeling about this is that I think the team building sucks. There's like no good ways of putting it. I think team building actually sucks. Uh, grinding for the medals isn't so bad. The lack of rewards super sucks. And I understand some people going, Oh, wait, for the reason they're not giving us rewards on this is because of the raid. And the raid will give us plenty of stuff. Um, and here's my kind of counter. There's no guarantee that they'll always bring back a raid every time we do one of these events. That's my overall um, thing, is that it's not that I like super am in love with like the overall um, concept of actually playing like easy A's. Like, no. The reason I like easy A's is because um, they just give you a shit ton of things. Like, they don't, it's just not the stones. They also give you like... Uh, Elder Kai's, of course, like, they get you straight up to 15, which was great for, like, units that you already had kind of, like, um, you already had at 10, so it really only took 5, and then you could share the rest of them. Um, so like, for example, for if these, uh, Goku and Vegeta were in the old style of EZAs, what I could have done was, um, oh, uh, wait, let me see, am I gonna lose on this one? No, I'm not, because I have the two boys coming up. Um... What the fuck was my point? My point is, is that if I if they were if these were the old style easy as I think we would have gotten some spare um, tech and STR Elder Kai's. Not Funky Kai, that's the name of him. His name is Funky Kai. I don't think his actual name is Funky Kai. But you get what I'm saying, is if we would have gotten a spare of them, and I think that would have been cool to have along with 30 stones. And then here's the thing that I think is also kind of lost in translation. We would have gotten 30 stones for their easy A, and then we would have also gotten the stones from the um, <laughs> from the actual raid itself that we're getting later on. So, I don't know. Maybe they felt like... I think here's the actual thought process of it, and I think this... I'm pretty sure you can take this, right, Gohan? Yeah, you can. Um... The thought process of it is that they want to easy a a lot more characters, um, but they don't want to keep giving us 30 stones. 
because uh, that's too good, and they understand that's too good, so they're gonna stop doing that. Basically, the free ride is over for certain characters. Like, obviously, I don't see a Dokkan Fest ever getting this style of event. I can only see this really being an event for free-to-play units, so in that way, I think that's fine. If these were to, for example, also go to, um, if it wasn't just free-to-play units, it went to everyone, it would be obviously a lot worse in my mind. So, I don't know. I still think that this sucks. I don't like the way this team building works at all. It's super unfun. Um, and the one thing I'll say about Easy A is that, yeah, the easy, the regular Easy A grind is longer. And in the grand scheme of things, kind of sucks near the end if you don't have the perfect team. But the thing that's always great about them is that no matter what, um, you can make whatever team you want. So... And I kind of like that, even though you were kind of like guided to build a specific team, you could still run like a specific leader that like didn't actually have a bonus against him, but you could use his uh, leader skill to actually help you, which I like a whole bunch. And in this mode, you can't do that. Uh, the one thing I actually do like about this mode is that they give you an incel, which is nice, I guess, because uh, they realize that no one in the history of the world would actually run any of these units as their friend so they're like we're just gonna give this one for free the only one that even came close is str super saiyan 2 gohan but you actually need his easy a in order to get people to actually use them so yeah and that's basically it. now we're just grinding and as soon as this dumbass grind is done i can get my super saiyan 2 gohan and i'll be happy and everything will be cool um but yeah so Long story short, I still think this mode's kind of butt cheeks in terms of like, it, not in the actual playing of it, uh, because when you're actually playing it, but it it's kind of like those old, um, back when they had the limit limitations on like Android 16, it's like strike events, where you can only make a team cost of like 100. It feels kind of similar to that, where it's like, even it's not as limited as that, because even then you could like run a super good unit and then a bunch of Cybermen and be done with it. You can't do that here. Um, for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, not the... I'm just not a big fan about it, man. I mean, I'm trying to... The only reason I came back is I realized that I'm not, like, complaining to... There's really nothing funny about my complaints, which I promised I would only come back if I had actual jokes about it, but I really don't. Um, but I feel like there's at least some way for me to say of my initial gut reaction... Uh, it's no longer that level of hate. I still think this is bad. Like, there's no way in my mind that you can convince me that, um, in its current form, and the idea of just, like, certain times you just won't get 30 stones anymore from an easy A grind, just, you're never gonna buy me on that. Unless, specifically, they start doing the thing that everyone was saying, which is that, um, the grind will always come with a raid, which, if that's the case, then that's fine, I guess. Um, but that's also, I think... A signal from the dev saying like we couldn't actually make this grind worth it so we're just gonna make you grind double twice to get to be fair these are also very good units but to be fair a lot of easy a units are good that's the point of easy a is just making units good so let's get back to this grind huh that's enough talking about this again if you like um, this event no ill blood for me you can love this event for all you care I know uh, Truth loves it, the Truth. He's a big uh, lover of this kind of fight, which, okay. Uh, that's, not, that's not to talk shit on Truth. Uh, Truth is a good guy, he's a nice guy. I just don't see, I just don't see it. It's kind of like when you see a, um, oh, I'm trying to think of a way to not make this sound too fucked up. It's kind of like when um, you see a girl that you really like and then your friend tells you, no, it's like your friend really liking a girl. Then he tells you, and then you look at her and you kind of go, not really my tastes. Not really like the kind of girl that I would want to go for. But the but that's not really my, that's actually, that's a very shitty thing to say actually now that I think about it. That's actually also not 100% how this works at all. I don't know, I'm still recovering. Give me a break, man. Uh, so forgive me. If I'm not 100% coherent, because I'm still tired. 
My body's tired. I walked over um, a shit ton of steps. I want to say it was over 10,000 10, steps. Let me see. It was like 8,000 plus 5,000. Yeah, around 10,000 steps for my work. And my work is, in essence, a desk job. So if that gets you any idea of like, <laughs> like holy crap, that's bad, that's bad. It's a di many different levels of bad. We're also this many uh, minutes in. I've never uh, explained that the, today's OST is brought to you by Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, uh, technically Banjo-Tooie. This is Banjo-Tooie music. You can tell because it's a really good bloopy music. Only one video game has the balls to use Kazooie's in their soundtrack, and it's Banjo-Kazooie. And also Donkey Kong 64, I think, technically speaking. Man, I love Banjo-Kazooie. I'd love to play Banjo-Kazooie, but I need to finish up um, some of the ongoing games that I got currently, and then I'll play some Banjo-Kazooie. So yeah, I think that's basically Grind and Talk. Um, this is, again, this grind's not that bad. I just don't like everything else built around it. And honestly, if they gave me 30 stones, wouldn't be complaining. Uh, so I'll just wait for the actual thing to give good stones later. I guess that's really the that's the strategy. Until then, I mean, these units are worth having. So as much as I'm complaining, I'm still doing it, right? At, in that case, like, how do you get people to play something they don't like? Give them a unit they can't ignore. <laughs> And this is one way of doing it for sure. Uh, okay. Until also, this thing shouldn't cost stamina. The fucking is stupid and sucks. Uh, I got. I think I understand why it costs stamina, but I still think it really blows that it does. So until next time, everyone. Goodbye and have a nice day. <laughs>